Hello, it's Crafty Carol here with another little video for you. Um, I made you, you can have a look on my blog and you'll see how I made this card. This is for my husband for Valentine's Day, um, using one of the new sets from the new catalogue. Um, all the details are in the blog for the card. But what I wanted to show you today is the box. Now, this is the box I've done to go with that card. And it's got a belly band on it. And I call it a wardrobe box because it opens a bit like a wardrobe. <laughs> uh, which is rather sweet so uh, again to match the card and that'll be for husband's present for valentine's day but obviously you could use this for any type of um celebration um so i'm doing a general one today and i'm using a different set of colors i'm actually using for this set i'm using the flamed uh, <laughs> flamed <laughs> let's try again framed florets <laughs> it's a bit difficult to say that um, which is one of the new sets from the new catalogue. Uh, I'm using that. I've used some of the dies and I've used the um, sentiment from this set, just a little reminder you are loved. And I've used this image from the set as well, um, just to decorate the box in the end. And for the paper I have used, I thought I had it available to show you, but I think I've put it back over there. Um, but it's the um, Fitting Florets DSP that I've used for the two pieces of paper that I'm going to use to decorate the box. So the key is how you make the box. That's why I've prepared the decoration already. Let me just move those bits to the side and let me show you where and how we are going to do the scoring. So uh, try and make sure this is properly in view. There we no, that's wrong end. Where are we there? That's better. Um, and I will need the bar out. So I'll try and make sure I try and keep everything as much in view as possible. It's always a little bit difficult with this camera, but we shall manage, I think. So your cardstock piece that you want for the main part of the box is 21 centimetres, which is a normal width A4, so you don't need to trim it widthways at all. Um, and long ways, it is 28 centimetres. And you're going to score on the short side um, at two so the easiest way to do that is to come over and use the shorter side here so we're going to score at two there and make sure you've got your cutting blade out of the way use the lighter color scoring blade to score that so it's at two and then if we turn around we can do the rest of them it's at four so we do it at two and four and then 17 which is why you need your arm open uh, on your trimmer so 17 and 19 so that is on the short side okay so we've got the four score lines there then we're going to turn it and on the long side again we're going to start at two so I do it this way around go to two to the right of my um, blade guide then I can turn it round so that's the first one at two and then we're going to score it at seven at nine so and I'm making sure all the time that I'm making sure it's fully jutted up against the top so it stays straight 19 so again moving along to the open bit of the scoreboard 21 there we go right up to 21 and 26 so right up so that's two from this end of course as well so that is all your scoring, apart from one. Oh, I've nearly forgot the other scoring. Um, the best thing is to do all of that scoring first and then I can close this down because actually I only need this bit of it now. You want to move it along to 14 and just score from the top down to the first score line and from the second score line down as well. OK, so you're just doing two little score marks at the top down to the first score line and at the bottom down to the first score line and the reason for that will be evident fairly soon so next thing we're going to do is we are going to fold and burnish all of those lines i can find my um let's do it this way because that's the way i've scored it and um, find my bone folder so i score the four one and the two ones at the side and the other side i might just zoom the video on a bit because you don't need to see me sit and score them all and then i'll show you how we are going to trim the pay the card
Okay, so that's all our folding done, so you can see all of those lines. Now it's time to trim it, and we're actually going to trim off quite a bit, um, because we, we need to trim away the corners of the box. So the first cut you're going to make is from the second score line in, going down to the third score line. So it's along this here, this line here. I'm going to cut it quite carefully, right down to there. Okay, then we're going to take out, in fact, I can cut it across there. I'm going to take off that end bit and then we're just going to leave a little tab like that. So hopefully you can see that clearly. So I've cut all the way down to the third score line down and made a tab. And I'm going to do that on all four sides. So again, I'll I'll quicken up the video because it's boring watching people cut things. <laughs> Okay, so that is the final piece that you'll end up with. So we've taken off all the corners, but left four tabs here, which we're going to use to form the box and stick it together. Now, the reason for this final score line here that we made at 14 centimeters down to the first score line is be, we want to take out a V at that point and you want to cut down to the bottom of that score line on both sides and try and get it as accurate as you can. I don't know why I've chosen such dark cards to try and do this, but uh, you can see there, I've just done a V right to the point where that um, score was. So we do that both sides, right down to that score line, just taking out basically a notch there. Okay, and that is to allow the two sides of the box to come in and close, so that when the box is made up, that side will come in and just slip in like that okay so we're now going to make the box up so the first thing I'm going to do is use a little bit of tape on each of those tabs I'm going to put it on this side of the tab so I've got my fast fuse here you can use either tear and tape or um, the stamp and seal this is my old fast f don't <laughs> don't know why I'm putting it on my board that's silly um, I'm just using that up, but I shall obviously use some stamp and seal in future. You can use Tombow for this as well, but do remember if you use hot Tombow to um, make sure you're holding them very firm together so that you don't let it slip as it dries. So my tip for getting a really um, exact square edge is fold your, stick your sticky tab <laughs> in Put the corners together, hold the corners together so they're nice and straight, and then from behind, push the tab in so that it's an exact corner. So I'll do that on all four corners, hold it in, make my exact corner. Awkward on this one, there we go. And then push your tab in. Same on these sides. Hold my tab in, make my exact corner, and then push from behind to push my tab to hold it. So as I say, if you're using Tombow for this, then just make sure you hold it for a while to make sure that it has it has um, closed properly. Now, if I was sensible, I would have done the sticking on of everything before, but let me show you how the box goes together. So you can see there that we can just, in the Vs that we've cut, these two side bits go into the Vs, should do. Might not have cut that just quite wide enough, actually. Perhaps it's because it's a little bit narrow. Oh, there we go. Just me being funny about pushing them in. There we go. So they just slide in and you see how it's held. It's not flopping open in any way. Jiggle it around to show you that. Turn it upside down and shake it and they won't come out much. <laughs> so that is my box complete. And all I need to do is to stick the decoration on and then make the belly band. So quickly, I'm going to stick these panels. Now these panels, the size of these, these are 4.6 centimetres wide by 12.6 centimetres long. And as I say, it's cut from the fitting florets paper.
these are but obviously you can make this box in any color with any matching paper that you have which is very useful so an up and down on that possibly oh, it doesn't really matter because i don't know which way up the box is yet so i'm sticking those on the front panels do this one as well the color i'm using here by the way for the box is knight of navy a bit daft because it's a dark colour. You can't see the score lines quite so well marked, but never mind. Just to show you, you can make them in any colour. Is that upside down? I don't know if there's an upside down on these patterns or not. Can't decide if there's an upside down or a not upside down way. Anyway, there we go. So there's the two doors, if you like, my wardrobe doors with the pattern on. Then we need to make the belly band. And to make the belly band, you need a strip which is approximately one and a half to two centimetres wide. It's not, doesn't have to be exact in terms of width and you need it to be 26 centimetres long. So to form the belly band around the box, just put the box across your strip and then bring your strip up and just hold it. Just sort of bend it with your fingers if you like, rather than doing any exact measurements with your trimmer, just bend it with your fingers so that it folds around the box and then just give it a little squeeze with your thumb and your finger to form those bends and you want the overlap to be somewhere around the front of the box because we're going to cover it up with the sentiment so again i'm just going to use a little bit of um tape on this uh sorry stamp and seal it should be <laughs> it's actually fast use but hey um, stamp and seal or whatever on there or some Tombow would be fine then this time we'll hold it oops hold it together wrap it round and fold that so that it's holding closely but not too tight you want to be able to slip that on and off that's not very exact but it will be covered up by my um, it was a scrap I'd used so it doesn't really matter anyway I'm going to cover it up with my pattern so this is um, one of the images from the fitting florets and then I'm just going to stick um, a little sentiment on top. So I'm going to stick this flat, put this across the middle of my image so that it will stick flat to the band and not to the box. That is important because if we stick it to the box, we won't be able to open it. <laughs> so we stick that to the band and then I'm going to use just a couple of dimensionals on the back of this and raise it up for the sentiment. There we go. I'll just take those off. Backings. So that is going to go in the centre of my band just there. And there's my box, just a little reminder that you are loved. So we can slide that belly band off and you can see it slides on and off really easily. And then the box will open there. And it's big enough to put in a couple of little biscuits or um, little chocolate bars or just make sure that tab is held down um, a couple of little chocolate bars or whatever uh, will fit in there one each side obviously if you wanted a box that fitted exactly something this is for a sort of two-sided present if you like then um, obviously make a full box but this I rather like um, I have put things like a cappuccino sachet in one side and one of those little biscuity spoon things the other that sort of thing and um, just fits in beautifully or two packs of little packs of biscuits or something or two small bars of chocolate so that is my what i have called my wardrobe box i hope you've enjoyed uh, seeing that little video here's the other one i've made to go with my card for husband for husband's for, for husband's day for valentine's day um so i hope you've enjoyed that do um, check out the rest of my channel. Please subscribe to YouTube and um, I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.